32 weeks. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm doing my 32 week pregnancy update. I can't believe I'm already 32 weeks along. It's already been a whole month since I've uploaded my last update at 28 weeks and it feels like just yesterday. It, the time is going by so fast. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, definitely do that down below with that notification bell. And if you know someone who's pregnant who's in their third trimester, let them know about our channel as well. So yeah, 32 weeks. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot has changed since my 28 week update. I feel like the uncomfortable stage has finally kicked in like that late pregnancy stage where you're so big so exhausted and everything you do is just uncomfortable um it's hard to keep up when i'm walking like in the store with my husband or uh, recently we went to the minnesota zoo and it was hard to keep up there yeah i've just been walking a lot slower lately and i'm definitely that easy to spot pregnant woman at the store <laughs> just waddling her way slowly down the aisle but it doesn't bother me i think that it's kind of funny actually <laughs> getting out of bed has also been pretty difficult because we actually currently have our mattress on the floor because we have such a small room that we don't really want to um, have a giant bed. So this week, my husband is actually going to make us a bed frame that just lifts it uh, up off the floor a little bit easier so that I can get out of bed easier because it has been so difficult. And we're actually just gonna make that out of pallets. So maybe we'll make a video on that. That would be kind of fun. So I have switched over my prenatal vitamin. Just because I ran out, I was taking the Nature Maid, but since I ran out, I thought, well, I'll try the gummy vitamins because I've actually never tried those before. I've never used those. So I'm actually taking this here. It's just the Up and Up brand from Target. And um, I like them, they're, they're, they're okay. I think that I would honestly rather just take a vitamin than chew the gummies. So I probably won't buy these again, but I'll use them until they're gone and then I'll get something else. Uh, let me know down below what you guys use for prenatal vitamins. This is actually the first pregnancy where I haven't used the Garden of Life Organics uh, vitamin and the reason being is they're just so expensive and so this time around I thought that I would just take something simple and not really give it too much thought. It's a prenatal vitamin. I'm hoping it's giving me and the baby everything that we need and I trust that it is. Just a chicken, you know, hanging out on my deck during my video. <laughs> so once again with this pregnancy, I have gained a lot of weight so far, especially just for 32 weeks. I've gained about, boy, I want to say like 50, 55 pounds already. And that's normal for me, like I said in my last update. Um, but it does start to get difficult towards the end of the pregnancy because... Um, I'm already so uncomfortable. I already have a huge belly and then adding on so much weight that I'm not used to makes it difficult and it gives me a little bit of anxiety, but I'm really trying hard this time to not let it bother me as much because with my son, it bothered me so much. I, I cried every day and it was just a really difficult thing for me. And so this time around, I'm really just trying to not let it bother me as much. Now that I'm at 32 weeks, it's really starting to get a lot more real that we are gonna be having a baby here very soon. So I have a chalkboard calendar that every day I put an X on the day, um, at the end of the day, and I'm definitely counting down very much. I feel like I'm one step away from making a paper chain. <laughs> it's so funny, I was talking to my sister-in-law the other day and she was saying how she would say, okay, well, you know, today's, Today I've got this going on and then, you know, next week I got this, that will distract me and then this should be, you know, this will make it closer to this day and then and then I'll only be a week away and, and that's exactly what I do. I've already mentioned how I don't really enjoy being pregnant very much. It's difficult for me, but I'm also just so excited to meet him. I'm over the moon excited and it really just cannot come soon enough. Something that has officially happened is that I am constantly having to go pee just all the time. I mean, this baby steps on my bladder, I, he dances on it. Like, 
I will go to the bathroom and then I will literally have to go like 10 minutes later and it's so frustrating, I have to say. And I'm someone that likes to drink a lot of water and so at my house, I'm basically going like every 10 minutes and it's so funny because my husband's like, we're going through so much toilet paper. Uh. And, but yeah, we're going through a lot of toilet paper in my house because I just have to pee all the time. And in the middle of the night, it's probably the most frustrating just because it breaks up my sleep so much. I'll go to the bathroom and then I'll go upstairs to go to bed. I'll lay there for five minutes, have to go again. And then if I don't fall asleep right away, I have to go like 10 minutes later. So a lot of times I'm literally going to the bathroom three times before I even fall asleep. And then, you know, two hours later, two hours later, and it just breaks up my sleep. And at my house, I have to walk down the stairs to go to the bathroom. So I'm just trying so hard not to fall down the stairs in the middle of the night. And so that's fun. And also like when I'm going somewhere, um, I'll have to like go right before I leave. And then right when we get to the store, I'll go again. And then we'll, I'll go before I leave the store. And then wherever we go again, I'm just, yeah, it's taken over my life, <laughs> which isn't the worst symptom. I mean, it doesn't bother me as much as it maybe bothers some people. You can probably hear my daughter coloring. I'm sitting at my dining room table and she's right over there coloring. So I apologize for that if it's distracting. So my husband and I actually just celebrated our seven year wedding anniversary and it was amazing. We had two nights at a hotel and let me tell you something. Swimming helps me so much. I love getting into water because it makes me feel like I'm not even pregnant. Like. Everything is so much lighter, nothing hurts. It, it's amazing. It's almost summer, get yourself in some water. Go to the beach, buy a pool, do anything to get yourself in water because it is so helpful even just to be in water for 20 minutes where you don't feel heavy, your stomach doesn't hurt, your back doesn't hurt. It's amazing. So I was really happy to be able to swim the past two days. And it just makes me even more excited for summer because I really think I'm gonna be living at the beach this summer just to get in that water. And that's really what I did with my son and my daughter as well, is I just went to the beach as often as I possibly could and just stayed in the water, just stood there, swim, whatever. Like, it, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do my belly update and I'm wearing a dress, so I'm just gonna show you above the clothes, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot bigger. I usually have huge babies and so my belly is getting pretty big if you ask me. All right, so this is the belly for 32 weeks along and I feel like I've popped a lot again. And so a lot of people tell me that I'm all belly, which is a huge compliment to me, but I don't believe them. But I kind of think that the reason why they say that is because I kind of have a little bit of a tip. What I like to do is I like to show my belly as much as possible, but then cover up everything else. And so these little uh, sweater things have been my favorite thing because I'll just like show my belly and then cover up everything else just like this. And then of course you look all belly when you're doing that. I have some paint on my dress because I've been painting a lot lately with my DIYs. All right, well, that is all for this pregnancy update, you guys. I hope that you are doing well. If you are pregnant, let me know down below how far along you are. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.